Ten years ago, the first lady of Chuk invited me to join her in going to Mortlock Islands to celebrate the inauguration of our governor. When we got on the ship, I heard people whispering. There was an AIDS victim on board. I went out to see him, but I couldn't go near. I thought that if I knew his face, I could tell people not to get close to him. I knew nothing about HIV. He was laid down at the front where construction materials are usually stored. He was covered with a tin seat. The trip was 18 hours and it rained off and on. A small boat came to pick him up when we got to his island. I was never able to see him. I just saw that he was really thin. Only a few months later, my auntie, who was the founder for the Chuk Women Council, told me that I need to attend an HIV workshop. I said, no, I don't want to. But she would not accept that. I didn't think I would learn anything, but I learned so much that the program coordinator picked me to do outreach and education. One day, I was doing a presentation at a high school. I was asked to read a letter that a man who had died of AIDS wrote to say goodbye to his loved ones. I read it from my heart and I thought, what if this were someone in my family? Since then, I've continued to educate people. I hope one day that more HIV positive people in Juke will feel safe enough to come out. When I think back to that boat trip, I wish I had offered the man some water or given him my sweater to use as a pillow. If it happened today, I would. Would you?